Welcome to our house. Thank you very much. Oh, colorful house. Pink for this room. Blue for this room. Bold colors. Do you like it? Yes, we do. We love it. We want a different color in every room. <laughs> Boy, and then you get red for this one. Um, actually, this one is not our choice. Uh, we do want to redo this room, paint a nice yellow, and uh, the trim, though, we want to take all this paint off that a previous owner did. And like you already started to do something. Yes, work, yeah. we did start. Um, we wanted to take the paint off, uh, but not take the original varnish off. Okay. Uh, so we read in a DIY blog that uh, you could take rubbing alcohol to it and um, it did work a little bit it peeled the paint off but uh, it didn't get us the results that we wanted. So I mean, there was a little bit left behind. Yes so when that didn't work uh, we used a heat gun. You said heat gun? Yeah. No I don't like heat gun. Okay yeah we don't like them either so, we got some scorch marks. I know heat gun is not good for indoors and it's not good for stripping paint off. Okay. It can hurt the wood and can also release vapors, not good for your health. And uh, do you want to do this whole room? Yes, actually that's our goal. Okay, stripping paint, it's a lot of work. We're not going to be able to get this whole room done for you today, but at least I'll show you a good technique. You can do a lot of work after that. Okay, that sounds good. Thank Let's you. get started. Let's do it. Okay, Sarah, before we do any stripping on houses built before 1978, we have to test for lead. Okay. Okay. There's multiple paint, uh, coats of paint on this trim. We have to go all the way down to the first one. And this is how we're going to do it. Little V shape on this side. And another one on this side. That's nice. I can see the bare wood. Okay, cut is done. So let's test for lead. This kit you can get at a good home center. Comes with a part A, part B, two different chemicals. You can see there, crush them together, shake them, and it's ready to test. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Now you shake it, point down. Yep. All right, that should be good. Now let's go test right there. Just squeeze it. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, I don't see red or pink. That means there's no lead presence on this trim. Oh, great. But let's double check and put a couple drops on the dot to make sure the test was done correct. If the color comes out red or pink on the card, we're lead free. Congratulations, we are lead free. Okay, this is what we're going to use to remove the rest of the paint. It's a zero VOC paint stripper. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, VOC stands for volatile organic compound. Traditional paint stripper has VOC and it smells really bad and they are not good for your health. This one doesn't. It actually kind of smells like almond extract. <laughs> so even though this is a zero VOC, we still have to wear safety gears. Okay. I always start from the top and work my way down. You can put like a kind of a thick coat. Don't need to be very thin, all right? Paintbrush cannot be reused once it goes into the paint stripper. We're gonna use a cheaper brush so it can be thrown away. I'm going to cover the stripper with a laminated paper to accelerate the curing time. Always overlap, just in case for some uh, shrinkage. The key is that we want to keep it thick, nice. You could do this all day. Well, guess what? You got a whole room to do it. <laughs> press it, press it. We don't want to see any bubbles in there, okay? 
Let's give her some time for it to cure it. Okay, time for a coffee then. Great idea. All right, it looks nice and cured. Let's give it a shot. Wow, Sarah, look at that. It's coming out with one application. Wow, that looks great. A lot easier than alcohol. Oh, yeah. Sarah, I don't know if you noticed, but we're using a plastic potty knife because that we don't want to do any damage to this woodwork. Most nice. of it's just right on that paper. Yep. Kind of the opposite of painting. Yes. See, you almost don't need to scrape. Everything yeah. is coming right off. Okay, to remove the remaining residue, we're gonna use a scrap pad with the warm water. Okay. Well, well, all cleaned up. What do you think? Wow, Mauro, this looks fantastic. Looks I good. cannot believe how much uh, paint was taken off over there compared to the method that I used. Well, we not only removed all the paint, we removed the, the, also the varnish. It's, it's down to the bare wood right now. Once you get it all prepped and stripped it, uh, lightly sand the whole thing, and I would suggest for finish, a semi-gloss uh, polyurethane and look for one with no VOC. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to tackle this whole room. It's gonna look great. I bet you do, but you promise me one thing. I wanna see this room when it's done. Send me a picture, please. I will. Thank you so much for coming to Sacramento. You got it, thank you. Nice job. Looks go. like she's up for the task, right? She is. <laughs> so, um, paint strippers, notoriously nasty stuff. Although I guess that's why they've been so effective. Although, when I see this, um, that is very effective as well. And now it's got me thinking, why would anybody use a paint stripper with VOCs when they can use something with zero VOCs? It all comes down to money when you're looking for a product with zero VOC. How much more for a zero VOC than a traditional paint stripper? Twice as more. Oh. Twice as much for this. Twice as more for this. Seems like it's worth the price though. I mean, if it's gonna be zero VOCs, keep you healthy and be effective. All right, so she had asked for the paint stripped and the varnish left behind. What I saw was the paint and the varnish stripped. I mean, is there any way to strip paint and actually leave a layer of varnish? Um, uh, not really. There's any paint stripper, especially this one here, takes about eight to 10 coats of paint in one application. There's no way we can leave behind the, the, the varnish that she had there. I mean, the varnish is effectively a coat of paint, so that's coming off. Exactly. But that's fine, because that wood was perfectly prepped, ready to exactly. go. Exactly, she has a nice, beautiful trim. All she's gotta do is lightly sand, put a couple of coats of water-based, no VOC polyurethane, mm. and she's done. All right, so something I had not seen before when it came to the lead test was this secondary test. That's right. Um, you were hoping not to see red or pink on the tip when you're testing the paint, yet you're hoping that it's gonna turn red or pink on this little secondary test kit. That's right. If you see, if you don't see red or pink in here, that means we're good. But you transfer to the dot, the card on the dot. If you see a little red or pink, that means we did it right there and it shows here. So there are trace amounts of lead on the card. There's trace amount of lead on that that makes sure that you did it right. Proves that this has been mixed properly, that this is effective. That's right. Well, I mean, nothing to complain about when you're doing lead tests, you're using zero VOC, and you're getting something that's that effective. That's awesome. That's great. In comparison to the uh, traditional paint stripper, that's the way to go. Take right. care of your health. Good. All right. Thank you, Mauro. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.